I'm here today at Electroplan Investor Hungary, where I would like to show you one recent example of how our technology can contribute to bringing chemical recycling, in this case pyrolysis, to success. Négy évvel ezelőtt találkoztam az RMA-val, többek között más egyéb gyártókkal is, és akkor választottuk ki az RMA-nak ezt a jelenlegi itt látható berendezését. Mi azt tapasztaltuk sokféle műanyag kipróbálása és feldolgozása után. Ez a sokféle műanyag ez jelenti azt is, hogy volt benne elektronikai hulladék, volt mezőgazdasági fólia, amely nagyon szennyezett volt, volt benne a citromsága kukából különböző lakossági hulladék is, és azt kell, hogy mondjam, hogy ez a gép a különböző műanyagfajták kísérletezésénél mindenhol jól vizsgázott. The thermal conversion process we see here converts difficult to handle post-consumer plastic waste into pyrolysis oils and gas. Synthetic crude oil can be either used for energy or heat production, as in this case here, or at least partially for production of new polymers. Chemically recycling can be a sensible technology addition in the medium future, especially for those material streams where mechanically recycling may reach its limits. Accordingly, those materials that today would end up in incineration. The new product line we are currently launching for our chemically recycling customers is called Kemarema. The Kemarema builds on the strength and experience of our mechanically recycling technologies, while it focuses on the needs of our chemically recycling customers. The main aspects covered by the Kemarema include handling of bulk densities as low as 50 kilograms per cubic meter, removing air and moisture up to 10%, and ensuring scalability of the process by fast and efficient introduction of heat into the material within shortest time. We are currently offering these machines at throughputs of 100 up to 4,500 kilograms per hour. Now let's have a look into the chemical recycling process in detail. After material sorting, metal removal and possible cleaning, a shredding step is the last manipulation before the Kemarema takes over. The precondition unit or PCU is core of every Kemarema for pyrolysis operations. Running with its patented counter current technology, it provides a wide process window which is needed when dealing with inhomogeneous and mixed input streams for chemical recycling. The preconditioning unit cuts if needed, compacts the fluffy material stream, heats to just below melt temperature, dries moisture contents of up to 10%, buffers and doses into the extruder. Receiving material from the PCU at around melt temperature, the single screw extruder can be kept short, robust and efficient. The rheologically calculated melt pipe is the handover from the Camarema to the downstream chemical recycling process developed and owned by our customers. A typical pyrolysis setup includes a pyrolysis reactor which heats up the material to 350 or 700 degrees Celsius in the absence of oxygen. In distillation columns, different fractions as light and heavy oils, waxes and naphtha are created. 5 to 10% of ash are created, as well as approximately 20% of non-condensing gas, which can be used to power the process. Further purification steps and power generators or gas turbines may be part of the process. And of course, the quality of the output strongly depends on the quality of the input materials and the process itself. 2014-ben kezdtem el a szabadalmon dolgozni, és ö, saját nevemben, mint ö, önálló feltaláló készítettem el tulajdonképpen ezt a szabadalmat. Energiahordozóknak a 
hiánya, tehát a gázolajnak, benzinnek, gáznak a hiánya is szükségesé teszi ezeknek a rendszereknek a beindítását. The big advantage of the Camarema, apart from the fact that it can work with non-compacted PCR flakes, is that it operates in one single heat. That means that energy put into the material during drying and compacting in the PCU remains in the material and can be directly taken by the extruder, which again forwards melts directly into the reactor. Comparing this one-stop shop solution with an offline approach consisting of a compacting step followed by conventional extrusion, energy savings of more than 40% is a key aspect to making chemical recycling a success both economically as well as ecologically. At the same time, this setup takes advantage of the robustness and efficiency of the short single screw extruder, which pays off especially in the case of contaminated and abrasive post-consumer plastic waste. Certain chemical recycling processes request the challenging combination of high throughputs, high temperatures and pressures of up to 300 bar. Also this combination can be well covered by this setup.